Hello everyone and welcome back to this channel where we talk about how to live in Italy and how to buy a property in Italy. We are back. Uh, my name is Sofia, as you have already seen. I am Fiona. I'm from Switzerland, as you saw in the previous video too. We are both uh, property consultants for Remax in Forte dei Marmi in northern Tuscany. And today we are talking about the six most common mistakes you can make when buying a property in Italy. So Fiona, tell us a little bit about what is one of the most common mistakes when you want to buy a property, you found your perfect property and what do you have to know then? Yeah, because it's important, you need to know that a lot of things can go wrong and uh, for sure that would be really sad if you are in love with your house, uh, with your new home and you can just not go to the notary and buy it because there are some problems. The first one which I want to talk to you about is if you don't know the uh, permits of your house or illegal constructions mm -hmm. or anything like that. Unfortunately, Sophie and I, we know it happens so many times. Um, technically, there is even a chance that you can buy a house which doesn't have the permits and uh, the, or is an illegal construction. The biggest problem is if you in the future want to sell the property again, you are sitting on huge problems, big costs and you know, that's just not worth it. So that's a really big mistake if you don't check beforehand if you have a good construction with all the permits. Yes, and we will of course talk about that in detail in another video and how to deal with illegal constructions in Italy. And this is a very important point and let's come now to the next mistake you can make when buying a property in Italy, especially when you do not know the seller personally, maybe. If you choose the right uh, property agent, you have the possibility to check if the seller is actually the owner. So you need to check the ownership of a property. Who is the owner? And as uh, you might know, or maybe you don't, but in Italy there is a cadaster and uh, you can check in the cadaster who is the actual owner of a property. But of course you cannot do that yourself because everything is in Italian and Italian bureaucracy is quite complicated and we will talk about that later. But um, we as property agents can check for you if the owner of the property is officially the owner. So how do we do that? Of course we check all the details of the previous sale deed and we can request that for you and check it for you and of course read the Italian contract for you and tell you yes this property is actually fine you can buy it and the seller is also the owner. And also we can check for you the cadastral certificate of ownership and that is something else, it's a certificate that we can request and so we can check if the property is actually fine. Of course, the, the property has also to come with all the important certificates to be sold. So that would be the third point, um, the energy certificate. In Italy, you cannot sell a property without an energy certificate and um, maybe you might not know that but and many Italians even don't know that they can not sell their property without a certificate um, about the energy class and so once you see a property and you like it you have to make sure that there's an energy certificate so we can help the seller in that case to find the right person um, that has to be an official um, geometra, okay, which is actually like an architect and in Italy and they can issue this energy certificate for the seller so that we can quickly go to the notary and sign the deed. So this brings us to the fourth point of the biggest mistakes we often see unfortunately in buying 
property in Italy. You need to know that in Italy uh, that's law that the buyer needs to pay for all of the costs of the uh, sale. So you have additional costs which will come to you next to the cost of the house which you are purchasing. So you will have notary um, costs, you will have uh, taxes to pay, additional taxes. You will have, uh, that's for sure, you need a professional translator at this point um, if you don't have it before, but you cannot sign a contract in Italy by law without having an official translator which can you know, translate the contract for you. So this will be another cost too. Um, you need a geometra, which uh, Sofia said before, which is like an architect here in Italy. And uh, for going to the notary to buy your property, you usually need your geometra to let uh, the property check again to make sure that everything's fine. So that's another cost. There are many additional costs and unfortunately not like in USA or in other countries, in Italy they're varying so much and we cannot tell uh, yeah it's about 10% more from the buying price mm -hmm. um, you cannot say that because it has so many the bureaucracy here in Italy is so difficult and um, it has so many little rules and little things and this is a really really common mistake that people don't know that so ask your a property consultant as soon as you found your uh, perfect house ask your property consultant and ask how uh, much are my additional costs gonna be and uh, yeah because without knowing that then you will find yourself with uh, many many additional costs which you didn't know yes and we as property consultants can really provide you with a cost estimate where we list everything every single uh, cost that you might have to uh, consider and let us now uh, get to the fifth point so what is uh, a common mistake it is good to have all your required documents ready before you buy a property in Italy and um, these uh, documents cannot many many times they cannot be requested in your country but have to be requested here in Italy and we as property consultants are here locally and so we can request uh, a lot of the documents for you and especially the, the um, codice fiscale which is a, a fiscal number a tax number but it's not uh, actually meant for you to pay the taxes later in a later stage yes but it is a requirement to buy a property here in Italy so the fiscal code we can request that for you here at the official authority and uh, as well as uh, opening a bank account for example because when you do not yet know how to uh, fund your uh, property purchase you might have to ask uh, for a loan right for a bank loan so um, you you might have to ask for a mortgage and um, we can also provide you with this service so we know the right people and it depends on the bank sometimes you cannot always expect that every bank in Italy will help you and let you open a bank account if you are not physically uh, resident in Italy so mm -hmm. we know a bank where we can um, or manage that for you and we know the right person the, the manager so we can talk to them and take you to the bank and open the account for you and with you and so you can also ask all the questions and and yeah we can help you with a mortgage basically for mm -hmm. your property of your dreams in Italy yeah exactly mm -hmm. um, we will make a whole series uh, about that too where we will tell you a little bit better what you need to know and where we as property consultants can help you to obtain your uh, documents and uh, to be ready to buy your perfect house in Italy. So please make sure to also watch your, our last video where we talked about how to 
choose wisely your property agent. And of course, we are not talking only about what can go wrong, but also how to make it go right. Okay. Exactly. So um, we are for sure the right people to help you. And do not forget to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> exactly. And yeah, until next time, we hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> yeah, we do hope. And uh, yeah, goodbye. See you soon. Thank Ciao. you for watching. Bye. Alla prossima. Bye.